Hello everyone and welcome back to the bass guitar build series. I don't have a lot of time today, but I have, oh, got my microphone caught. Oh dear, what's going on here? Just sort that out. I have remembered the bar stock. So we're gonna get this recessed into the body today and see how we get on. So, as you may remember, we got the body separated last week. So we've got two sections on there. We're gonna cut the crack out of each half, put the bar in, and then glue it together like that. But firstly, we need to clean up this bandsaw and edge we've got here because it's a little bit rough and it's not gonna glue together very nicely. So first order of thing, or first thing that we need to do today is plane these flat. The camera is all the way back there at the moment because I'm a big sticky, sweaty mess. And I realized, like literally as I completed this, that I have a perfectly good planer here that could have flattened those edges. I'm still in the mindset of doing hand tool stuff. And also, it's like the hottest day of the year. It's like 26 degrees outside. Of course, I haven't opened any of my windows, so I am just like proper, oh man. Right, well anyway. The wood is nice and flat and I've got that joint good enough that literally you don't even need to press the edge joint together. You can just rest it on there like that and it is a completely gap free joint which is lovely. So now I can start working out what size of bar I want to install in these cracks and whereabouts to install them. Oh, so, ooh the knife a rooney knife a rooney So let's see what bars we have here. Oh dear, they've obviously got a bit wet, oh no. <laughs> the wood in here that keeps them nice and rigid is rather moist and it's um, discoloured the bars in here. Uh, oh well, we're going for a weathered look I suppose. Oop. Christ, I've seen less cling film here put over a full sleeve tattoo before. Yeah, oh. Oh, I forgot I got that as well. I couldn't find any material for the nut that was long enough for a six string base, like pre-cut, so I had to buy a 300 millimeter length from the metal supplier that I got all of these bars from. But yeah, have a look. The sort of moisture of this wood has put these like little bits of discoloration in. I think it looks pretty cool. It's got like a purple, oh, macro lens. Come on, get on there. Oop. Macro, look at that. Lovely. Literally any opportunity to use that lens and I'm on it. But before doing anything, we need to test that these are actually going to fit. Uh, I think it was six millimeters for the smaller one. Oh, don't tell me it's a quarter of an inch. Oh, that will go in. A quarter of an inch is 6.35 millimeters. I've got, oh, a six millimeter drill bit here. So um, that's gonna be a fun one. Right, I hope this other one's 10 millimeters and not three eighths, because that works out to be nine point something seven maybe. Yes, 10 millimeters. Come on, must have a quarter inch here somewhere. Oh, I hate this drill so much. Uh, uh, seven, nine. Six point five. That could be all right. Six point five. Oh, very naughty. Oh yes, right. Should probably test what this is like. Oh, bum! I've got it stuck. Yeah. Should probably test what this is like in the Ovan coal. How do I do this one-handed? Uh. Whoop. 
Hmm. It's a bit looser, but it is going to be captive in there. Yeah, I think that'll be all right, to be honest. It's still got enough grab on it. These drill bits are wandering quite a lot. Let's start with a six. Swap it to a standard ground bit. That's 6.5 millimeters. Much better. So, um, I've just hit a small hitch in that I've realized I don't actually own a hacksaw, but what I do have is an Axminster premium bandsaw blade here, which I know can cut through metal, but I really wanted to demonstrate this when it was fresh out the box on a bit of timber, just to show how clean the cut is, but I'm gonna have to go through metal with it, which is a big conundrum, because that's an entire subject of a video that I could potentially ruin by, I mean, it's not gonna ruin the blade by using it on this metal, but it's not going to make this optimum quality but I don't have a hacksaw. Also, this is quite a coarse pattern still. I think this is a four to six variable pitch TPI. Is that gonna be too core? I'm just gonna try it. So when I do this, I've obviously got eye protection on and we're not going to turn on the extraction when I do it because there's going to be a bit of hot metal coming out of this. And if this goes into that bag full of flammable dust, then it, it's not going to go too well. So extraction is off. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah, let's close the doors. Oh, yeah. Went through it like absolute butter. Didn't even feel it really, so let's carry on. Right, so as I've already said, I have got two different types of bar here and I need to work out the spacing in which they are going into these cracks. Now, it's easy to think that I could just do them all in one line, but I suddenly thought, actually, I could have them offset from each other at different depths along the body as well, which is what I'm going to do. I'm not gonna talk you through my process of it because it's gonna be proper boring, but yeah, I'm just gonna work out where I want things and mark the holes respectively. Okay, I've got them all marked out, so they're all at like random distances from the top edge here. And to make sure I've got them all aligned on the opposite component, I scored in from the top side of the guitar on both of them, so I know I've got the correct depth on each respective um, thingy. And yeah, now I'm just gonna put a center point in all of them. And then because I'm lacking in the pillar drill compartment, compartment, department, <laughs> I've got this thing, which is a drill guide, which is going to allow me to plunge perpendicular into the wood. So let's get the first drill bit in there, which is going to be the six millimeter one. Stick a little depth stop on the drill bit there, I'll bum. Okay, and now just to widen those holes a little bit. Now, question is, do they line up? Probably not. Yeah, there we go. Get in there. Lovely. So now that that's done, I can take the dowels back out, cut the crack out, reinsert them, and they will all be exposed through there, hopefully. Just gotta do these wider ones first. So now it's time to cut out these splits and I think I'm gonna leave the premium blade on here just to see what the inside finish of the cracks is gonna be like, because to be honest, I can't be asked to re-sand it and do all that effort that I had to between the uh, neck joint thing. So yeah, I think the premium blade should give me a pretty good finish from that point. Right, I think we should give this a test. Ooh. 
Ooh. Okay, some of the bars are a little bit short, but I think I could quite easily recenter them in there, hopefully. Uh, let's try and just get it apart a bit. <sighs> I think this is better. I cut them at different lengths, so I had some longer ones for these middle bits where it required more distance, and shorter ones for the bits that are more in the corners. And I forgot to um, organize that. That is looking great. Now have a look at this. I'll come and focus. Yes, that looks absolutely awesome. Thank you to all of those who suggested brass over copper. I think that looks so much better than what copper would. So great input there, guys. Very, very happy with that. I mean, wow, what an absolute mess I've made, but could that have gone any better? That looks absolutely quality. Well happy with that. Um, I've obviously got to clean up the inside a little bit. Uh, but I don't have a lot of time. When have I got to leave? I've got to leave in an hour, which means I probably haven't got a lot of time to talk to the camera, but you now know how I did it, so um, another montage, I think. Right, and that is about all I have time for today, but look at that. It just looks, oh, I am so happy with that. It looks absolutely brilliant. So next week, next week, tomorrow, <laughs> I'm not that lazy. Tomorrow, we're gonna get cleaning this all up. In fact, I might just take this to my evening class and get this sanded because it doesn't particularly make good viewing. Let's get this out of the way. Sanding doesn't particularly make good viewing, so I could just sand this tonight, to be honest. We'll see. There's a high chance in the next episode this will all be pre-sanded, so you don't have to go through all that boringness. But I've really got to get going. I will see you in the next episode. <laughs>